All right, so here we have the Ticonderoga Dixon pencils. These are the uh, regular HB number twos. I ordered these from Amazon and received them today. And I thought I'd make a review since I really like pens and pencils and so on. Uh, this is what I've been using so far. The Stedtler Norica. It's a good pencil. It has um, a very good tip. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't break or anything. It has a uh, nice thick lines, and it just does the work. It's fine. I uh, tend to use it for uh, notes. And for music, seems to do the job. However, I wanted to check out these uh, Dixons for the longest time, so let's give it a try. These ones. Um, I saw that there were some reviews saying um, the ones made in Mexico are not as good of a quality as those made in China. So um, I did order these. These are from China. Right there. So let's check it out. I think a pack of 30 was about $11 uh, on chain. So. All right. These are supposed to be, oh wow. Wow, that feels really light. It, it's completely different than these. These have sort of a industrial quality to them when you hold them. These almost feel hollow. It feels very light. It feels, um, it feels like light wood. It really has a special, feel to them. I really like the um, the traditional yellow color. It brings you back to childhood. And um, I, I do like the green. I guess that's some sort of metal that's been compressed into the wood. And that uh, tip, it's pink. It really brings back uh, the simplicity of, of childhood. So I, I really just like it for that reason already without even having tried it. So let me go ahead and uh, write something. Uh, largo. Agitato. Presto. That's really nice. It's... Um, Very similar to the Stettler. The Stettler feels a little scratchier though. This feels smoother. I'm very impressed. That's really nice. That's very nice. Um, yeah, I think it's the smoothest pencil. It seems to be very sturdy. The uh, the tip compared to the Stettler, they seem to be very 
similar, but uh, I'm not sure if the Stettler seems to have a little bit more of a shine on it. The uh, Ticonderoga uh, seems to have a little bit of a darker matte quality, but that might be because of the lighting. Well, when I switch it, Stettler still has a slight uh, brightness to it. And look at the uh, the uh, the wood colors. The Dixon has this nice darker cedar wood. I think the Stettler might be more budget or recycled wood. Although it it still doesn't splinter when you sharpen. It's excellent. It's an excellent budget pencil. But the uh, Dixon seems to have uh, a much higher quality wood. has a nicer pattern on it too so um i really like these and they're they're really cheap i mean they're not those japanese or german high quality high-end pencils um yet still really do a great job um i think i'll use this to to make sketches write music uh, you know make notes and uh, let's see how they compare. Yeah, this is definitely Scratcher. I now I don't like the Stedler. It's nowhere as smooth. It's it feels. I don't know. It doesn't feel as awesome. Let's see. Wow, that's a really nice eraser. That's a really nice eraser. Stettler's is also good. But this eraser feels nicer to, to, to erase with. Something about the material. It just feels better to erase with, so. There you go, Dixon. I guess that's gonna be my pencil from now on.